how was that for today. We have uh, our festival of foreign languages. And uh, I'm happy to start this day, this festival. And uh, first of all, I consider it my honor to introduce the members of the jury that we have today. Kaczerinina Elena Alexeyevna, Volkova Elena Borisovna, Vrininikova Irina Alexandrovna, Shanina Alexandra Ivanovna, Ludmila Antonina. Uh, I forgot your son's name. Alexeyevna. Thank you so much. Well, uh, so what makes our conference different from other conferences in Moscow Aviation Institute, I should say? Uh, first of all, I think that there is no significant difference, but we have come to the conclusion that we need one more day, just one more day, one more chance to share our ideas and uh, probably with our colleagues, with our counterparts, with our friends and people who would like to listen to you. Well, and uh, honestly, I should say that the more such days we have, the better it is for us, and the more benefits we will receive. Today, we are going to listen to the report uh, just in the English and French languages. Well, uh, and our reports cover vast areas uh, in sciences like management, engineering, programming. Well, I should say that uh, Topics are very crucial today, are very interesting, very significant for us, and we not only speak about innovative advancements, technologies, and so on, but also we will focus on managerial issues today, because the world is facing great problems in terms of uh, toughest times that we have today, and unfortunately, um, we have sometimes mismanagement that can be a real burden, a real burden and a real just uh, uh, destructive force, I should say, for any company, for any state, and so on. So that's important to discuss non-trivial and non-standard solutions that we can bring to our world to overcome different um, obstacles or problem or something like that. Well, uh, so. To make a start, uh, I have decided to make my own report, and if you do not mind, I would like to share it with you guys, and um, uh, the topic is rather interesting to my mind because in some cases uh, we have many issues to discuss, but sometimes it's uh, very difficult for us just to pick the, the topic. And uh, I recently uh, just come across uh, this uh, topic, black swan theory. It's really striking, and you're welcome. Yes, and uh, probably you would like to know what uh, is this topic about. Uh, well, whoops. Yes. Uh, we are constantly being told that our future can be focused that our world is noble, that our risks can be measured and managed. However, Nicholas Salas is the guru of finances and also he is the writer of the uh, surprise hit, so-called um, food by randomness. He argues just the opposite, that our history is dominated by uncertainty, by improbable, um, destructive in some ways uh, events. They are called black swans, black swan events. Um, a black swan event is an event that uh, just deviates beyond uh, the, our expectations of the uh, situation. Also, it is hard to predict. So, uh, well, uh, this uh, theory stems from the notions or sense from an old world uh, premise that black swans didn't exist because they simply were not seen in the world until uh, the settlers uh, ventured to Australia. Well, uh, this demonstrates that uh, our uh, learning is not enough. That, uh, this can be symbol, uh, this 
can be a symbol of fragility of our human knowledge in some cases. So uh, we have uh, a black swan event, and uh, this event has three attributes. It can be an outlier. What does it mean? It means that uh, it lies outside the normal expectations of the situation that we have. And also, nothing in the past can predict or can point to its possibility in our present and future. Uh, at the same time, we should say that uh, this uh, black swan event ha carries an extreme impact. And the third attribute is that due to our human nature, we try to concoct our expectations. We try to um, make it explainable, make it clear for us after the event. Um, let's focus on some examples. Please come in. Uh, well, uh, classical examples based on Nicholas Sadov's uh, uh, theory are probably the following. First of all, of course, these events include the rise of the internet and probably personal computers. Then we can speak about uh, terrorist attacks on the 11th of September in 2001 in the USA. And uh, of course, there are events uh, like droughts, floods, epidemics that are extremely improbable and unpredictable. So, um, we can speak about uh, one fact that is obvious about Black Swan event. It is uh, its unpredictability, in some uncertainty in some ways. And Black Swan events, uh, they are just game changers. If they are game changers, so shall we predict at all? Then, guys, I should say that, uh, of course, we shall, we can predict price uh, of oil or make some just uh, predictions about our future, about our prognosis. And, of course, it's crucial for us, but we cannot guarantee the accuracy of prediction at all because modeling and prognosis, <coughs> just uh, usually they take into account a great number of facts that we should analyze. But um, Black Swan event can appear just at any time and it can last uh, at any length of time. Well, and that's why Black Swan event can just throw all our plans out of future. Well, come in. So, to sum up, I would like to just uh, classify in some ways these Black Swan events. Uh, probably to make some categories of these events. <coughs> of course, we can speak about nature Black Swan events. Monster storms, earthquakes, forest fires, <coughs> even asteroid strikes. All of these events have actually happened uh, in our recent memory. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, just history record has a great amount of uh, uh, evidence that these disasters can and will have happened and hit uh, rather vulnerable just, uh, populations at any time without any warning. What can I say about financial black swans? Unfortunately, uh, finance system is extremely complicated, it's extremely complex, it is interconnected and integrated in our life. And uh, it's very, very uh, complex and that's why it's unstable. And its instability brings us to real destructive consequences. But response to black swan events usually uh, lies in political sphere. About political black swan events, I should say that mostly they um, are clearly seen, uh, but at the same time, we can speak about wrong elections, we can speak about uh, rather wrong um, political approach, and the results, the consequences are really devastating. And the black, political black swan events usually bring us to um, rather big economic crisis and financial crisis. 
I cannot go no, uh, also innovation like swans, really, because uh, technology transforms our life. Even our perception has been transformed in terms of technologies, innovations, just new kind of uh, gadgets and so on and so forth, really. Uh, and um, I should say that society grows as well as technology just uh, matures. So, to sum up, I should say that we are approaching a new year, and this new year will be as unknowable as ever. However, we can do one thing. Uh, it's our task to be extremely cautious. Thank you so much for your attention. This is my report. And, uh, Changes in our agenda, I should say. Uh, and the next report will be delivered uh, by Dabro Yana. She will speak about innovations in management. I think that it's extremely interesting for us because this uh, science is developing really rapidly. Mm -hmm. Thank you.